Peach Blossom Neverland is a U.S.-China fantasy TV series based on a very famous Chinese novel called *The Peach Blossom Spring*. It's an ideal version of a paradise land where people live happily ever after. And we added a lot of、uh, modern adaptations. The story follows an American artist. Who accidentally walks into an ancient Chinese painting, into these fantasy realms, where he will meet a Chinese sorceress, and together, along with his other friends in、uh, reality, they will、uh, fight an evil force in the painted realms and eventually defeat it and save the fantasy world. So the idea behind the series was to be at the forefront of this collaboration. That is between the U.S. and China, and China is one of the biggest markets for television, especially of American programs. So, by taking these mythological pieces from Chinese culture and bringing it into the American cinema, is very important. You see that a lot with a lot of Roman TV shows, and we've seen this in recent events with Netflix's own series Marco Polo,、uh, where they have. Yes, a traditional white American playing the lead role to bring in that audience, but most of the characters are Asian. Our lead character Shep、uh, is a slacker artist in Venice Beach, California.、Um, he's young, very talented, but never got the opportunity to get anywhere near success. Lan is a Chinese girl, grew up in the Peach Blossom Neverland. She can see beyond her world,、um, and she can see into the future in her dreams. And every time she wakes up, she's gonna draw down her dreams onto a wall. Our goal during the production of this would be to keep the cast very diverse, taking from both China and the U.S. and shooting in both countries. And that way, we can really bring in the historical piece of it and the cultural differences between the U.S. and China. The setting of the story is separate into three different fantasy realms. The Peach Blossom Neverland is a small village surrounded by mountains, where、uh, lots of peach blossom trees are grown. People there are always happy. They live harmony with nature, with animals. There are pandas in the forest, and they never have any negative feelings. And the second painting is Shambhala. A kingdom that built around a giant temple.、Um, the temple is called the Temple of Floating Stones, and everyone in the temple, the monks,、uh, the leaders, they all have spiritual powers. They can move things with their mind.、Uh, the third fantasy realm is called Lowland Kingdom. It's a very kind of Middle Eastern style. Kingdom built in the center of a desert. A king,、uh, he's ruling the desert, but he's a very cruel king. So he doesn't give his people enough food, enough water. So everyone lives around the palace. Is live in poverty and、uh, dehydration. And the sci-fi fantasy genre is very big right now. You can see that in examples like Game of Thrones, where you see a lot of different. Cultural aspects, but yet it takes you to a different world. And even though it seems like it could be real, you know it's not. And that's kind of what we're going for. I saw the character description. I saw the conflict that the story evolves. It's catchy. It's built up. It's built up on three fantasy world, which gives the TV show a lot of potential. It requires a little more than usual、uh, the attention that you need to pay to detail. That was in your lighting, with your camera angles and camera movement. The overall goal is to obviously make it on network TV in both China and the U.S. And a longer-term goal plan, we are also going to try and make video games of it, whether it just be an app or a full-on video game, and eventually try and turn our series into a feature film trilogy, because. The series doesn't just take place with these four places that we selected. That's just season one, and then season two will take more mythological pieces from Chinese culture. So it's definitely a very big challenge, but it's an exciting one. And I think if we have 
uh, if we have enough budget, if we have enough support from all area, from the art department, from the special effects, and of course the uh, camera lighting, everything, then we can really build it upon, uh, build it beyond people's imagination because we have that ambition to do that.